Well, it's uh, time. I need more artifacts for Linny because if you saw the building video, they're not incredible. I did actually see someone say that he does actually have fine stats. His stats are not that bad. But I just want artifacts that look a little bit prettier than whatever the hell's going on there because they look horrible. So we spend a bunch of resin in that domain. I have 600 there. I already have five condensed. So we have about 20 runs. So let's jump in here and let's farm a whole ton and let's hope we get something that's somewhat decent. Also, I need to get a video done quickly and this is the quickest video I can think of that still gets progress down the account. So 20 runs, let's see if we can actually get something decent. My goal for this farming session is one upgrade because I've learned that I can't ask for anything more than that because the game doesn't like giving me good artifacts. I'm just gonna do all of my runs and then worry about leveling up artifacts after. I normally like to do five runs and then level some up and then do another five because it splits it up a bit. But I think for today, because I'm only looking for specific pieces, I'm just going to do all of the runs and then level anything else up after that. Because realistically, we're going to have maybe one or two pieces that we're actually going to use. And for the pieces we are looking for, we want a arrow damage goblet, double crit, ER attack, any of those stats are kind of what we're looking for. I did the most incorrect rotation, oh well. Then... We also want a attack sands with those stats, crits, ER, that stuff, and a crit damage, crit rate, attack, ER, that stuff, circlet. I feel like the circlet is definitely going to be the most likely to happen, and the pyro damage goblet is going to be the least likely to happen, but I will take any of them. I want Linny to have like 50 crit rate which should get him to basically max if he gets all the stacks from Marichose. And I want 200 plus crit damage. We already have 193. So I'm only asking for seven more crit damage. So surely we can get seven more crit damage from somewhere. Well, there's the first batch of five done and we got nothing. I will also probably throw everything into the strong box at the end to see if we can squeeze out one more piece. Because we're sort of fine on all of the other sets. We have decent enough stats. But for the characters we are using, I'm pretty sure Lenny's the only one with less than desirable pieces. Ooh, this could be a piece. It's not the prettiest piece, but it's got crit rate and flat attack. That's something. If it rolls crit damage, it could be usable. Ooh, ooh, wait, that's attack sans double crit. Four line start, that could be good. As long as it actually hits those two crits. Otherwise, it won't be that good. Because the other stats aren't incredible. Would be nice if there was like an ER stat on that. That would be preferable. But I think Linny has enough ER at the moment. So just more crit damage with a tiny bit more crit rate would be fine. Basically, because we're running Marichose, I'm just trying to get his crit rate to basically almost be 100% or as close as I can get it to that. And seeing as we're getting three stacks of 12% crit rate, and I can actually max out those three stacks somewhat quickly, that would mean we're getting 36 extra crit rate. So I'd only need, if I have 60 crit rate, then he will have 96 when all of the buffs are up. If I get him to 64% crit rate, without the buffs then he'd have a hundred percent crit rate and that would be really really nice then i could get all the buffs up and boom he'd have a hundred percent he'd crit every time that probably will not happen though but if i can get to like 50 i'd be happy 50 or 60 percent crit rate and like 200 220 crit damage last run for this batch this is 10 runs now we get nothing we did get two potentially good sands from that I would like to get perfect pieces from this domain though, because I do not really want to do this domain again. Because this gymnast there likes to spin around and knock you out of charge attacks and it's not fun. I do not like farming in this domain, especially with Nouvellette as our main DPS. He gets knocked out of his charge attack way too much. And that is not fun considering that's where 
everyone's damage is coming from. Well, this will be our last run we'll do. I could do six runs if I wanted to. Instead of five, I'd do one more after this. But I don't think I want to do that. I'll decide later. This is 20 runs now. Let's see if we get anything good. So far, I've gotten one, maybe two decent pieces if they roll well. Okay, surely we get one good piece out of it. Okay, yep. That's about what I expected, to be honest. The game does not like giving me good pieces. Actually, to be fair, I don't think the game likes giving anyone good pieces. Well, this is the last run. So, get ready for some crazy, insane pieces to finish the day off. I mean, that could work, but we already have a good feather. Well, that went just about how I was expecting it to go. Let's go throw some stuff in the artifact strong box and see if we can get an upgrade. That's nice. Already have one of them though. That's also nice, but don't want crit rate main stat. Surely we get a crit damage main stat. Ooh, wait. That could work very nicely actually. Crit damage. Ooh, it does okay let me just do one of them okay this was the other piece this piece is looking much better let's see roll a absolute load of crit damage please that not crit rate we don't need any more of that we that's 11.7 is fine we we want the crit damage no not not crit rate I'm going to still roll this because it'd be crazy if we just roll some absurd amount of crit rate. This one down here. Okay. What's he currently running? 14.8. So we had to drop his crit damage down a little bit, but to give him a ton of crit rate, that puts him at 57 to 190. So let's try the other one. Yeah, we'll, we'll run that. It'll, it'll work. Now for this one, we don't have anything, but we could run off piece. We might be able to get something if we can run off piece. Now we have this piece, which if we roll attack percent, okay, HP percent, that's fine as long as we hit mostly just crit rate in the R. Let's get one roll into crit rate though. No, okay. What is this compared to what he used to have? He used to have this one, that run, that has 8.9. And now he has 3.9. Okay, you know what? This could work. It sits him at... 47 to 191 if we can find a better pyro damage i mean this could be decent if we just don't hit the em if this can hit like 30 crit damage we could run this more crit damage yes there's no way this is gonna hit 30 crit damage it hits 24 which is it is more than what he's currently running so that's better 47 to 193 that's literally exactly where he started Literally all we did was just get him some slightly prettier looking pieces that are on set. That's literally all we did. We'll wait though. 45 to 210. That 45 will go up to 81% crit rate. You know what? I like that. Let's run him back on this piece. This offset piece. So now he's at 50 to 210. 50 plus the 30 whatever is... 86 yes so he'll have he'll have 86 with max stats to 210 you know what i like that it is less attack though which is kind of annoying let me go do a really quick damage test to see if that actually did anything because it is slightly lower attack now not by much just like 100 200 lower or something but it is more crit damage and crit rate he's also sitting at 121 er which i think is fine I don't know how much he needs. That did 26. Charge attacks are doing 31. Yep, that is definitely more damage. Ooh, we like that. We like that a lot. I am going to go back to Scaramouche like what I did in the last video. I want to see if we can hit 100k. We hit 94 or something last time. I'm going for 100k. And without buffs, he's hitting a very consistent 25k. If I go like that, and then that, and then that, what's his crit rate now? 
62. I think we only got one stack. I think if I use Chevrus, then Linny's skill, and then his burst or something, we should be able to get all of the crit rate stats. Even if we don't, we only need to do one skill of Chevrus to get 62, and that's fine. That's like enough crit rate. And if we mix that in with a Linny skill hit i think that also changes his hp so that'll bring him up to then like 74 or something let's do this chevrus boom lynette boom linny does now 50k what does his skill do his burst there we go one thousand one thousand one hundred thousand k and his charge attack and is now doing almost 40k Yep, we are definitely shredding through that really nicely. Now, I don't actually remember if anyone needs Scaramouche's drops, but I might as well claim them because we're here. That's actually a really nice piece. Those artifacts definitely did some good stuff. We now are hitting 100k off Linny's burst against Skara. We are doing much more damage. We're doing, like, some really nice hits, actually. So, yeah, definitely good stuff happening. So that wasn't actually completely horrible. We did actually get some decent pieces, which is good. I mean, I say decent. All we all we did is really just get one piece that rolled a ton of crit damage, and that's about it. So that's... Yeah, that's, that's about it. It works, though. This is the only reason we actually are doing more damage. Is We just ran a little bit more crit right here, and a, more, a tiny bit more crit damage there. But we just put on a feather with more crit damage. So we barely actually got any increases in this pieces we got today but they look prettier and that's all that matters plus Lin does 100k now so that's nice so with that being said this is probably going to be a very very quick video but i didn't have a lot of time to work on it in the first place i kind of need to get this recorded edited posted all of it done today but yeah hope you guys enjoyed if you like sort of content do consider subscribing and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed and good bye <laughs>